Ratan Tata, the renowned Indian industrialist and philanthropist, passed away at the age of 86 in Mumbai's Breach Candy Hospital, shocking the citizens alike who mourned the loss of the Kohinoor of India. Tata's legacy was marked by his transformation of the Tata Group and his significant impact on the Indian business sector. Under Ratan Tata's leadership, the Tata Group's valuation soared beyond the 100 billion mark. His dedication to both the company and country was unwavering, yet Tata was always perceived as a humble man. But when it came to defending his empire and the nation, he never backed down, even if it went exacting revenge in unexpected ways. One such instance occurred in 1999 when Tata and his team approached Ford to sell Tata's struggling car division. Ratan Tata and his team faced a humiliating experience when they approached Ford to sell the Tata struggling car division. Ford executives belittled Tata's expertise and arrogantly offered to do them a favor by buying the entire business. This incident left a lasting impression on Ratan Tata who decided to call off the sale and focus on improving Tata's car brand instead. Fast forward to 2008, the tables had turned dramatically. Ford was now grappling with a financial difficulty during the global economic crisis and so it was forced to sell Jaguar and Land Rover brands. Seizing this opportunity, Ratan Tata orchestrated a 2.3 billion all-cash acquisition of both the luxury brands, effectively turning the tables on Ford. This acquisition was more than just a business deal, it was Tata's revenge for what earlier happened. Ford had paid $2.5 billion for Jaguar in 1989 and $2.7 billion for Land Rover in 2000, but was forced to sell both in just $1.7 billion to Tata. The 19-year-old ownership of Jaguar reportedly resulted in cumulative losses of $10 billion. Ratan Tata's vision for Jaguar and Land Rover acquisition, the JLR, extended beyond a mere acquisition. He focused on three key areas, improving the liquidity, controlling the cost and introducing some new product for the people. Despite the initial skepticism from critics who doubted Tata's ability to maintain the brand's standard, Tata's determination and strategic acumen began to yield results. The accusation faced challenges initially, including the outdated engines and inefficient quality. However, a shift in consumer preference from luxury car to luxury SUV worked in Land Rover's favor. Meanwhile, Jaguar was revived with the design of sedans. Tata's management implemented lessons learned from previous downturn, focusing on cost reduction, efficiency enhancement and the cash flow management. They also invested $1 billion in operation and the new product development. The result of these efforts were also quickly evident. By 2009, just a year after the acquisition, the brand showed signs of profitability, resulting in a net profit of £55 million. The strategic turnaround demonstrated Ratan Tata's efficacy in strategic intervention and leadership. Ratan Tata's journey from humiliation to triumph with the JLR acquisition stands as a testament to his unwavering determination and strategic brilliance and the ability to overcome adversity. He transformed Tata Motors to a global player in the automotive industry, producing one of the world's most expensive and least expensive cars too. India and the world will indeed remember the legacy and journey of the Ratan. Don't miss out. Log on to oneindia.com for more updates.